Hey, it's Corey from First Line. Today I'm going to show you some of the features and talk through some of our electrostatic sprayers we offer. Um, right here is going to be the MG200 sprayer. It's a handheld electrostatic sprayer. And over on this side is the MG300 backpack sprayer. Uh, both of these sprayers, they work exactly in the same way. They share the same battery. They use the same nozzle tips. They're functionally uh, the same, although they do have a, a couple different features. So this is the MG200 handheld sprayer. On the back of the sprayer is the battery. Battery simply removes, reinserts, just like that. Has a cross bolt safety. All this does is lock the trigger on and off. On the top of the unit, you have a electrostatic on off switch. This does not turn the sprayer on and off. It simply turns the electrostatic on or off. To remove the reservoir, uh, there's a lock ring with a symbol for lock and unlock. You move it to unlock and then take the silver ring with your middle finger of your uh, trigger hand, pull it out and the reservoir will drop straight out of the unit. To reinsert, make sure that the grooves on the side of the reservoir are lined up with the grooves on the side of the sprayer unit. Insert straight up and lock it into place. Uh, on the front of the sprayer, there's a vertical fan, a horizontal fan, and what I call a point and shoot setting. So adjust, you rotate clockwise until you hear a click. You can do the same thing with the tool that comes with the sprayer. And then to remove the nozzle, you take that same tool, turn it counterclockwise, and the nozzle is removed for cleaning. To reinsert, you put the nozzle back in, give it one turn counterclockwise, and you're ready to go. Like I said, the batteries are the same between the two sprayers, the battery reservoir and the backpack sprayer. The battery goes in a little compartment in here. To remove, press down on the latch and pull straight out. To reinstall, push all the way until it clicks, close the battery compartment, and tighten. <coughs> On the side of the sprayer, there's a power. This actually does turn the entire unit on or off. When you turn it on, green lights will come on. That'll display your battery charge. You get about four hours of battery charge uh, per battery. To remove the reservoir to fill it with your decontamination solution, there's a latch on top that you lift and pull back, and then simply remove the reservoir. Once the reservoir is removed, there's a fill cap with a filter and you can fill through the top of the reservoir. When you're done, if you have excess decontamination solution, you want to drain the reservoir, there's another screw cap at the bottom of the reservoir that you can unscrew and drain uh, to drain the entire reservoir. To reinsert, simply put it back in place, make sure it's seated into the bottom of the sprayer unit, and latch it into place. <coughs> there is a hose attachment on the side of the reservoir, or on the side of the backpack sprayer, to remove the hose, you pull the slide lock ring to the rear and pull straight out. And on the electrical attachment, on the inside, there's a very small detent that you push and pull straight out. To reattach, take the, hose, the uh, liquid attachment and push firmly until you hear a click and it's seated all the way up against the backpack. And do the same with the electrical attachment. The connections to the hose are exactly the same. Uh, the, these connections are exactly the same. The nozzle adjustment is exactly the same as on the MG200. Clockwise to adjust your nozzle pattern, counterclockwise uh, to remove. <clears throat> it also has a similar cross bolt safety, which simply locks the trigger. And there's a red button on top of the sprayer. The button doesn't do anything when you push it. However, it will light up when you're spraying to show you that the electrostatic is on. The backpack unit has also has obviously backpack straps. Uh, they are removable. This entire piece can be removed to clean the sprayer, to wash the straps. It also has a holster uh, which can be used to hold your handheld sprayer unit. So that's the MG200 and MG300 backpack sprayer.